I slept in a bit the past couple mornings. I've been waking up at three in the morning and then going out walking at four. Today, I didn't get out till five and it sure was chilly. It was like 40-ish in the dark. And then when the sun finally came up, which is really, it's 7.30 right now, and the temperature dropped, I think it's below 40. And kind of a bigger still morning, got a little bit of fog. I'm feeling the effects of my 150 miles in 10 days. Last week, finished up six days in the dome. And then I just kind of kept piling on the miles. Definitely felt it last night when I walked with the weasel. So today is a prime day, which is a SOS day, something of substance kind of day. So what I do is I try and do something of substance on the prime number day. So today's the seventh. And I've been really interested in following Renato Canova and he coached a great Italian marathoner. He's one of them won a gold medal. I think his name is Bordini. And he's coached many of the Kenyans and East Africans. And I like his training for philosophy. He basically flips it on its head. Jason Coop does this too. You do faster stuff early in training. And then as you get closer and closer to race, you do race pace training, which makes sense. I've never understood the, you know, build a base. And then if you're a marathoner doing a whole bunch of fast stuff, you know, that isn't even based on your pace. So I'm kind of taking his ideas. And so today was a 70, uh, a 70 minute day, but on prime day, I try and do instead of 70 minutes, I'll do seven miles. So like next week's an 80 week, 80 minutes a day, I'll do an eight miler. So since I'm working on trying to get my speed today, I did, I'm going to just do the shortest distance then at least get some kind of workout 400s. So I did seven miles of 400s. So that is, uh, you know, seven times four, 28 400s. I'll do a quick 400, stop my watch walk for a minute or so and then do another 400 and I ended up getting in seven miles and now I'm finishing up on Elm Street. I was feeling pretty good till the last mile or two. I definitely could feel it. I mean, my pace is terrible still. I'm barely, you know, it's like 1644, I think overall, you know, my goal is someday to walk a half marathon in under three hours and that's a sub 14. So got a ways to go. This is my sixth decade of endurance training and I'm constantly looking at new stuff and trying to learn and work with the, you know, I build on the shoulders of giants, the legends in the sport. And I compare running, um, a lot of people just think it's a mindless activity, but I often compare running to like golf. You're always looking for that perfect swing, that perfect game, and you're constantly working on your game, your short game, your long game. And that's what you're doing with running, is running or as me walking, I was just kind of interchangeable. Um, you're just constantly working and tweaking it. And so one of the things I like about Canova also his philosophy of training is he says, you know, Americans are all about mileage and believe me, you know, I do a ton of miles, but you know, they're like, Hey, you know, we've got to do a 20 mile today or a 10 mile tempo. And they're more emphasizing the distance versus the uh, pace. And uh, he says, you know, the East Africans and his coaching philosophy, he's more concerned about the pace. And so, you know, guys will show up that famous track in Antion, Kenya. There'll be, you know, 30, 40 guys doing um, the, uh, um, work out of the day, say it's, you know, 10 times a kilometer and there'll be world-class guys there. And the younger guys or the newer guys, they don't have any concern to go out and only do maybe two or three, but do them at that really fast pace. They're not concerned about doing 10 times a kilometer and finish the workout where, you know, a lot of American runners tend to want to finish the workout instead of, you know, do what you can and then move on. So that's the goal here. I'm going to do 400s until I can at least do average under 16 minute miles and then just then once I do that then I'll move up to uh, half miles 800s and try and get under 16s and then move to mile repeats and then 5k repeats and so on and uh, I'm gonna do that and the nice thing is training peaks highly recommend using it it keeps track of all that kind of data so I can actually look and see what my best 400s are and I'm sure today in one of those uh, 28, 400s. One of them had to be a PR. I'm almost home. Lots of people driving off to work. I'm going to get home and hit on and go do some DoorDash. Thursday is my Friday. Been a really good week on DoorDash. And uh, I got to 100 subscribers last night. Thank you very much for subscribing. And I appreciate it. And please subscribe if you can. As I was saying before, you know, YouTube won't monetize you until you get a thousand subscribers, which isn't that big a deal. But what I don't like is now they're putting ads on us people who aren't getting monetized. So 
you know, if you subscribe and get me to a thousand, then we can give me some of the YouTube money and you know I'm going to be spending it in the endurance community. And as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.